day 317. Got to think how the day went for a rating. <laughs> I guess we'll say it was a recovery seven. Nothing bad, nothing good. Just try to stay in that good, healthy zone. Got up, walked the pup. She was in good spirits. And got outside pretty quick. Got a little bit of sunrise, which was nice. <clears throat> got back. This was a mistake on my part. I tried to make two of the turkey bacon burgers I had. And I was thinking, I'll, I'll make two of these in the, in the frying pan. And then I'll put some sweet potatoes in the air fryer. And then I'll just heat them up a little bit when I get to work. Be a nice little lunch. I brought one of those little avocado cups with me, or guacamole cups, so I put that on there. And I forgot where my head was at. And I just, I forgot putting the guac in the fridge at work. And then I overheated the french fries so they turned out more like chips. They just got so dried out. After about the first minute, they were all crunching as if I was biting into a bag of chips or a chip from a, <clears throat> a bag. They didn't taste like sweet potato fries anymore. So, <laughs> stupid on my part. I just wasn't thinking. I was just in that time crunch of hurry up, get everything done, heat it up, get outside. I was trying to refill my water, put the quack. I was like, where's the quack at? Go back to my desk, pull it out, walk back over. And the turkey burgers still weren't heated up, so I heated them up a little bit more. Or I poked a couple of holes in it to get a little bit more air circulation. Heated them up a little bit more. And then tried to get I toasted the the hamburger buns. Grab those. Put them over by the <clears throat> microwave. Got the sweet potato fries out. Got the turkey burgers out. Try to put the guac on. A little bit of a mess. I ended up, it was a little bit over for lunchtime just because I hadn't even finished eating yet. It took so long to prep everything. But oh, I should have brought something maybe a little bit more simple. I don't know what I was thinking. That probably would have been a much better meal to have for dinner tonight. I need to get back to maybe the Doing some kind of salad. Let me do salads, some pasta, and some chicken and rice for lunches. Just to keep it simple, easy to make in bulk. And then when I get home, then I can really do more fajitas, tacos, good turkey burgers with some sweet potato fries, something that's more fresh, doesn't need to be reheated. I was just so lazy yesterday. <laughs> and I got up and I mean, I felt like I was a little bit productive. Put the sweet potato fries in the air fryer on low while I was walking the dog. Now we just to heat them up. And then when I got back, I put them in for about another eight to 10 minutes and put it on a high just to get them crispy. Oh, but they did not pan out well for lunch. <laughs> I mean, it's, I still ate it. I don't feel sick or anything. It's just, mm, just a little bit, a little bit short of good. Just, just shy. <laughs> and then we had another call in at work today, so it was just. But it made sense. I think you can hear him coughing and getting really phlegmy. So hopefully it's just a minor cold or flu, and it's nothing too severe. But it made it, made it really weird because I walked in. And no one else was there in my department. And so I was looking like, what's going on? I didn't see anyone's car there either. I saw like other people's cars, no one in my department. <clears throat> and so I go and sit down and I have my lunch. So I try to cl clock in, get logged in and all my apps. I go put my food away, get some water. I think I even had... Uh, I do a smoothie. I think I did a protein smoothie this morning. And so I was going to get that. 
come back and sit down. I sat down and the president of the company was like, hey, what happened? And oh, I was like, I, I don't know. I got an email. <laughs> And they said, where's so-and-so? I like, I don't know. Hopefully they didn't get stuck in traffic or their car didn't break down. And it ended up being, I guess two of them called in. So there was an email from the manager and said, it's the dynamic duo today. So good luck. I'll be there in a little bit. I'm just stuck in traffic. And I was like, oh, great. You know, but <clears throat> work has been a little bit slower. So I wasn't too stressed. I just... I hate going in surprised like that. Like I'd rather go in and be like, oh, I know so and so's got the day off today, it's a vacation day, <clears throat> or they weren't feeling good when they left work yesterday, so there's a good chance they're gonna be sick today. Instead of that surprise, oh, what a, what task do you have? What else do I need to do? What other work is gonna be on my hands today, or my plate rather? And then the other guy, he had. An appointment in the morning, and so my manager had to like come up to me and say, "Oh, hey, sorry, I I forgot. They've got an appointment, so they'll be here any minute." And so they came in maybe ten minutes later. But I was a little bit freaking out, just like, hopefully it's not the COVID that happened, got to them, or you know, or you know, car didn't break down. Hopefully they didn't get a bad accident or anything like that. It was just a little bit eerie. And I, I've had my cousin that got sick again and another friend at the gym got sick again. And gosh, I feel like there's another <clears throat> I had another friend that called and said I got sick over the weekend. I tested positive this morning. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I just don't know right now who's got it and who doesn't, but Ended up being okay. There was only one missing officially today. We'll see if they're there tomorrow. Oh, besides that, got off work. <clears throat> I was talking to my dad on my back. I talked to him for about another 15 minutes and I sat in the car and I was like, oh, are you home yet? I'm like, oh, no, no, I'm at the pet store. I gotta pick up some dog food. So I was talking to him for a bit before I went inside. And I went inside and my other friend called and we were talking for about 10 minutes. And we're just like, sorry, I meant to call you back the other day. Just I was, I passed out really early. I had a long day. I was gonna, I'm gonna pass out again later, so I wanted to call you before it was too late. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, I appreciate it. So we caught up a little bit, and then I told him about my a cool trip we're having, like a cool family trip in September. Kind of excited for it. Kind of nervous about it. I guess I'll tell him more when I more details. Of, supposed to find out for certain on the February, January 12th, or February 12th, something like that. So still plenty of time to schedule stuff, but anyways, we'll get to that point when we get to it. But the rest of the day, came back, fed the pup, or had her food, so she was going sniffing at it, and just put my stuff away, just doing some dishes, and walked the pup, and we saw our buddy out there, Brandon, and I hadn't seen Brandon and I hadn't talked to him since about Christmas time. I saw him yesterday, but I was trying to get a Momo to go to the bathroom and then get in the car so we could go to the trail and get some sunlight or get get a good mile or so in with sunlight and then come back. So by the time we got to the dog park, saw my buddy Brandon, he had already gone in. I was like, all right, come on, if he's not there, let's just go. We got a quick drive and then a little run to go on. So we did that. We got to see him today and talk and we were catching up on New Year's and what's going on and how the family was. And he told me his, his wife had a joke for him, which was really funny. Not very appropriate. So I can't say it here, but he's like, yeah, it just totally caught me off guard. I just, it's not like we were talking about this subject beforehand. It was just out of nowhere. It was just. We were talking and all of a sudden it was like a commercial break and just change the subject. Hey, what do you call blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I don't know. And then told him the punchline. And again, I wish I could say it. I'm kind of ruining the joke. <clears throat> but 
it got me laughing a little bit. Like, I can't believe they said that. She's like, I can't believe she said that. <laughs> it would make me funny. Pretty funny. And then we were just talking about Spider-Man. And it's like, hey, before you go to see Spider- Did you go and see Spider-Man? He's like, saw it three times, buddy. Like, dude, awesome, awesome. We'll catch up on more Marvel stuff later. Still got to talk to him about Hawkeye. I know we talked to him before. And his wife said they normally try to wait for the last episode to come out and then binge watch it. But he said we just couldn't wait, so we've been watching it every Wednesday. It's been two, two or three weeks now since the last episode came out. So we got to check in with him and see what he thought of the whole series and last episode and where they think they're going to go from here. And after that came in, I told myself I'd go to the gym at least, and I just kind of stayed listen to the Suns game with my dad. The Suns end up winning again. The first team to get to 31 wins this year. It's pretty cool. Good job, Suns. Yes. But then I just got a, got a little tired. So I just came in the room, did the push-ups, did 125. I did a little bit of like a squat with a press. Did some lower abs. I did some tricep extension and a little bit of stretching. I'm just trying to, which I feel like it's a good start. I feel good, healthy about it. I didn't feel like I did too much, not too taxing. But something that I could keep doing every night, every other night, and slowly build on that. So I feel good. I got the reading in. It's 11.50, so hopefully I can go to bed pretty soon. Got to get up at four for track. Not sure what we're doing yet. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer than the last week. And then see how the legs feel. All right, it's upon your life with health and happiness and have a good night.